initially we didn't see any tutoring. But the first eight days uh, he was with her when we went back and, and looked at, uh, at the uh, uh, analysis of the behavior, she would do things such as this. She would, she would look at him, sign come, and then approach him and retrieve him. And that went on for five days. Then what she would do for, for uh, starting on day six is she'd look at him, orient toward him, and sign come, but she would no longer approach. So what we think is that the vast majority of the signs he acquired, he picked them up. And uh, we have evidence all, also for that by the way signs came in. For example, uh, we first observed the tickle sign. Moisha would like to be tickled. And, and, and Lulis would sign tickle, 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 but he would use it not in the correct context. So it would be comparable to uh, a child playing with a word that, they, that they've just acquired, but they don't know the meaning or they don't use it. They just, he would just sign to himself. Also, uh, he liked to be tickled in that he would uh, go up to the enclosure and press himself against the bars and, and you could reach through and tickle him. And it was only after uh, 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 several observations of him playing with the sign tickle did he begin to, to get the point of signing tickle and then pressing himself against the bar. The alley signs look like he signed hug. He signs hug again to Lewis, hug. Lulus approaches. And this was nice for Lulus because Lulus had not only Warsho that used signs around him, but Ali used signs and they, and they would sign to him. So it was a very uh, meaningful, the signs were very meaningful uh, in his environment as far as the, uh, the, the chimps were concerned who, uh, who he lived with, Warsho and, and Ali here. Warsho therefore taught her language to her adoptive son Lulis. At three, Lulis had learned 60 signs this way. At Central Washington University, Washoe and Lulis were joined by three other chimpanzees, Da, Moja, and Tatu, who had also been raised by the gardeners according to the same principles they had used with Washoe. With these three chimpanzees and a fourth one, Billy, the gardeners pursued the Washoe experiment, but much more intensively. The success of this new research added even more credibility to the work carried out before with Washoe. Washoe was not exceptionally gifted. What the gardeners had done with her, they could do again with others. This was especially the case with the four chimps, because they were reared from birth in the human environment. When they arrived at Central Washington University, Da, Moja, and Tatu also expressed themselves in sign language. Drink. Roger Fouts became the elder brother of a large family which centered itself around Washo. Drink. The aim of the research carried out by Roger Fouts and his team was now to see how in this family sign language had become that. an integral part of their that. social exchanges and to see whether they communicated in signs without Cap. any human beings being that. present. That. To do that, the family had to have its own territory that could not be invaded by humans. That's why, contrary to what happened at the gardener's place, Roger Fouts, despite his ties with Washoe, never entered the cages. To invade this territory might threaten the balance within Washoe's family. By uncontrolled reactions on the part of the chimpanzees, who had become adult and were very much concerned about questions of territory. The chimpanzee's territory is made up of rooms, a games room, and a large outdoor area. These areas communicate with each other and allow the chimps to move with a certain amount of freedom within their territory. Washer was the head of the family of five chimps, a sort of mother. Today it's still manifesting that she's very much the mother of this group. And uh, not too long ago, uh, when we first moved into the building, uh, there were some uh, uh, ROTC, their army uh, uh, people, and they were. And it was a Memorial Day, and they were firing their guns. And Washoe had all, all four of the chimps, Lulus and Moja and Tatu and Dar, herded them into the the cave in the outdoor area, and then she would go up and look over the wall to see what was going on, and then come back. She's a very protective, very very caring uh, uh, individual, uh, very strong emotional ties, uh, very much a mother in, in the sense of, uh, of uh, 
sort of looking out for him. For, for him. The harsh criticism directed against the gardeners consisted in saying that Washoe and the other chimps brought up by them had been trained and that they did not really understand the signs they used. However, the gardeners perfected a double blind test with Washoe that they later used to test Dar. Dar has not shown objects in themselves anymore, but pictures of objects that he has never seen before, showing that he names any dog, dog, any cat, cat, and so on. The test shows that he can name them without hints from humans because neither of the two observers can see the image that he sees and they cannot communicate with each other. This is a picture of a shoe and Dar does indeed say shoe. The same goes for a flower. And the two independent observers note that it is a flower. The gardeners continued to study the data gathered during 15 years of research. At Washington University, Roger Fouts and his colleagues are also trying to provide a response to the critics. What I want to demonstrate is that the chimps will actually refrain from signing when the human's not looking. It makes no sense at all to sign to your back. What they will do is make some type of sound to initiate the interaction. In this case, the chimpanzee tattoo, you'll see refrains from signing and what she actually does each is claps her hands each of the chimps have their own particular sound that they make um i've been finding tachu tends to clap her hands dar does a, a kiss type of sound moja does what we've uh, called bronx cheer or raspberry uh. and washu actually does sign she signs the sign dirty which when she makes it her teeth clack together what makes it sound in the initial phase of this experiment the chimp asks to be allowed to speak. Then in a second phase, he combines words to ask for something which these words represent for him. According to Fouts and his research team, it seems that Eat. they have a certain awareness what? of what talking is, since the chimp Cheese. spontaneously and purposefully asks to be allowed to speak. The chimp is therefore aware that he is speaking. Eat. Where? Where? Eat. Where? Over there. Chase. What? Chase. Ah. Chase who? Chase. Chase who? Da. Chase. Where? Chase. 